this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the haze filter to a photograph selectively using a duplicate layer and the mask tool along with the paintbrush. So I've loaded in this panoramic image. So the first thing to do is to make sure that you're in layers. If you're in one of the other tabs, come over here, select layers. Now, right click on the background and choose duplicate. So then I'm going to click into the text area and I'm going to call this dehaze. Now come over to the filters drop down menu and choose haze removal. It's in the process of analyzing. I'm going to push the distance to the maximum. The reason that I do it this way is so that it is not affecting the original image. I can turn this new pixel layer off and on or I can start over again without having to reload the image. So now you can see that we've applied the, the haze removal filter. I'll play with the strength a little bit and see. And while that's too strong for what I want to do in my final image, because I'm going to use a mask and apply it with a brush, I'm going to make it just a little stronger than I might normally. Okay, so I'm going to apply that. Now the next thing to do is to come up to the layer pull down menu and choose new empty mask layer. Not new mask layer, but new empty mask layer. And you can see that that removed the haze removal filter completely from the image. Now to apply this, go over to the paintbrush tool and choose paintbrush. Come up to hardness and make sure Usually hardness is set higher than zero, but make sure that it's set to zero. And I'm going to use 22%. Now using the keyboard shortcuts, left square bracket and right square bracket, I'm going to enlarge the size of the paintbrush. I'm using the right square bracket right now. And the Next, very important thing to do is to go to the color tab. It's currently on histogram. Come on over to color and make sure that we're painting with white. We paint with white to apply. We paint with black to remove. So we could turn it to black if we get too much on in one area. So this is going to show you as I move the brush over the sky, it's giving me an idea of how much is going to be applied when I click on the mouse and drag it. So let's do that. I'm going to start at the upper left. I'm going to move over to the right. And I'm just going to continue coming down in a nice smooth fashion. And I'm going to apply a small amount of this to here. Now I'm coming down into the mountain area where we've got some haze. And that's about all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to make the brush smaller by using the left square bracket and I'm going to work a little more in the mountain area. So again, I'm going to position where I want it to start and I'm going to click the left mouse button and I'm going to drag it and paint on how much of the haze removal I want applied to this. Now there's a little bit of haze on the entire image. So I'm going to increase the size again with the right square bracket. And I'm going to do a quick pass over this area here. I'm not going to apply much. I'm going to just bring it in, sort of clean some of that haze up. Bring it over there like that. And that's it, I'm done. To see what this looked like before, I'll come up to the dehaze pixel layer and I'll uncheck it. And that shows you the before and that shows you the after. It's subtle, but that's what we want. We don't want it to look heavy handed. We want it to look more professional. 